A country that sees industrial action from several unions almost on a regular basis. But a suggestion from the president of the industrial court, Deborah Thomas-Felix, for union leaders and employers to work more closely towards ensuring that negotiations are not delayed for long periods of time. I want to also suggest that parties re-examine the timeline for negotiation of new collective agreements. It has become the norm for negotiations and the registration of new collective agreements. To take, it has become the norm for it to take place some years after the period in review. This delay usually frustrates workers and leads to industrial action. She says an unhealthy labor climate can be disastrous for an economy and that both union leaders and employers must work more closely towards avoiding the negative effects of industrial action. Negotiation and negotiations and the signing of collective agreements should be contemporaneous to the period in review and a greater effort should be made by employers and unions in this regard. She says under her tenure, a greater effort is being put on delivery of justice, noting that 111 judgments have been handed down since she assumed the top position in December 2011. She says she's looking forward to the Central Statistical Office's enhancement of statistical data on wages and productivity, which she says can help the court significantly.